Hey guys, what's going on? Devin here, Lifetime Preparedness. Ah, move my seat over. Um, so I want to talk to you about worst case scenario uh, with a vaccine, with this vaccine, or any really, um, any vaccine that's pushed through fr pretty quickly without years and years of testing, um, you know, to make sure. Um, let's, let's look at this ob objectively, um, whether you like vaccines, whether you don't, whether you trust this one, whether you don't, just, just use a vaccine in general. Um, so let's say with this vaccine, they go ahead and push it through, you know, things are looking fine. They seem fine. Not really any crazy side effects. Um, they're using small groups of people for testing, things like that. What's going to happen? Um, when they give it out. Now they're saying that the governors are going to be the ones to dictate who get the vaccines first. Now, the most logical thing would be frontline workers, right? Frontline workers, doctors, nurses, emergency care workers, uh, emergency personnel, firefighters, EMTs, police officers. So, Let's look at it that way. If they're getting it first, because that's what the governors want, um, politicians, things like that, and something catastrophic happens in the process of making these vaccines, whether it is, it just, um, it's not a good vaccine and it has really bad side effects. Um, let's say worst case scenario, it uh, just because it's it's interesting to think about worst case scenario um, with this stuff. All right. I got some Berkey water filter right here. It's good water. So, let's say all these people get it, whether they mess up on the new batches or it's just a bad vaccine and then the people didn't have severe reactions, just the ones that went that you know through the testing because they're not doing large amounts of people. Um, let's say this is distributed next month and it's given out to everyone in... The you know frontline workers um, in the medical field, as well as emergency personnel, politicians, um, people like that. So it's given to them first. What happens if it's a bad batch or and people or just a bad vaccine and people start dying like crazy who who get the vaccine because they all get it at once or they start having really bad side effects to where they're severely sick or it messes with them in, in a way to where they can't go to their job anymore. Um, I mean, I've seen this idea. I got this idea for it was floating around on the internet. Now, I don't think this is what's going to happen, but it's just interesting to look at because, you know, it's always any, almost anything's possible, guys. Um, I don't now I don't think this is going to happen. It's not my, my opinion is not that this is going to happen, but you never know. Um, so I just like looking at different scenarios. What's going to happen? The, the, the police aren't going to be going to work. The ones that got it who are having negative side effects or dying from it. Um, the EMS workers wouldn't be, the firemen wouldn't be doing their job, uh, the uh, doctors, the nurses, the emergent care workers, the EMS, they're not going to be doing their jobs, they're not going to be going to work, um, or they're going to be dying. And then that puts all of us in a bad place because we don't have um, that police protection for people who do require it because some people are not self-sufficient and are not able to defend themselves um, or you know help themselves out in a certain situation. Um, some people can't take care of fires. Uh, people don't. Some people don't have fire extinguishers. Some people, um, you know, don't have this, that, or the third. Um, some people aren't uh, going to be able to go to the hospital. If you get hurt, you're not going to be able to go to the hospital. Some people don't have the tools or the skills to stop. Um, a, you know, say you slice your finger open. Some people don't have the tools or skills to you know do a MacGyver job on it, even at the very least, and get the bleeding to stop, seal it up with some glue and some duct tape, and, you know, just to survive for a little while, I mean, some people can't, some people don't know how to use sutures, you know, it's like, I mean, I'm sure I'm not the greatest with it, but I can make do in a pinch, it's not gonna be the prettiest, you're gonna have a scar, but, hey, I can get it done, you know, worst case scenario, if we don't have anyone who's tra actually trained to do it, I, I can essentially do it. It's just not going to be great, but it'll do the trick. Um, you know, it's interesting to look at situations like that because that's like the same thing in like places in like, you know, 
third world countries that have viruses, those are the people that get the viruses first. Um, it's, it's different with this virus. I know that, um, it's just, it's, it's interesting to listen, you know, to listen to different ideas, different perspectives on that stuff. Um, I just wanted to, you know, share that with you guys. I thought it was interesting. Something to think about. Uh, I don't think it will happen. I don't think there's a even remote likelihood that it's going to happen. Um, you know, a point zero 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 one percent chance of that happening, but hey, or more, who knows? But you know, I just figured I'd share that with you guys. I've seen it floating around the internet, thought it was something interesting to talk about, wanted to share that with you guys. Um, probably have one more video out coming out tonight, uh, or tomorrow. Um, we'll see. Um, I'll probably put one out, another one out tonight, maybe one or two out tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Um, guys, if you want to show support for the channel, that'd be great. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, you guys have been hitting it hard. We're getting up there. Uh, we're working towards 500 subscribers, so go ahead and hit that button. Go ahead and share with your friends and family. Uh, that way we can get the message of preparedness out there, guys. Share my videos, share other YouTubers' videos, the, uh, other preppers. You know, that way we can get the message of preparedness out there. The more people prepared, the better it is for everyone all around, guys. Think about it. If everyone even just has a pantry, a halfway decent pantry, it's going to make lives a lot easier for all of us. There's less people we got to worry about. Like I said the other day, I have two two friends, a friend, uh, one friend and another friend. And they're both starting to prep. They got their families pr starting to prep. So that takes a lot of stress off me because I would not turn them down. And I'm going to keep sharing this story because it is important for people to hear, guys. I would not I would not turn them down. And you, we all have those family members or friends that we would not be able to turn down. So um, let's go out there. Let's get things done. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.